Welcome to part one of this two-part series where I turn this four-inch quarter-inch wall steel tubing scrap into a lathe stand for my Atlas QC54 lathe that I received for free. In this picture you'll note it's bolted to a folding table and the bird poop was also included for free. The first step was to cut 28 inch pieces into 14 inch pieces. I split them in half at 30 degrees for the top of the, each leg. Here you will see me cutting the bottom of each leg at 15 degrees. This goofy yellow angle measuring contraption actually came in kind of handy. I set an angle of 150 degrees at 8 inches and 2564 ths This would give me the intersection between the two legs when they're standing on the ground. Here I'm setting up a jig to weld the two legs together. So I turn on my welder and get ready to weld these and all of a sudden my camera decided to quit. So here I'm cutting the uprights for each leg and they were 24 inches long with a 45 from center. Here I'm cutting 3 inch flat bar at 4 inches for the pads of each foot. I tack the four pieces of flat bar together to allow me to just drill one hole. Here you will see me welding uh, half inch 13 nuts on each of those flat bar pieces to accommodate an adjustable foot.
There you can see the adjustable foot with a rubber pad on it and I begin to weld the flat bar pieces to the legs. Now that the foot pads are welded in place, I weld the uprights for each leg. Fit up was fairly poor considering I was using a chop saw, so I wanted to clamp it all together to make sure I had everything lined up. And the last step for part one will be welding this 41 inch cross member in between the legs.
Thanks for watching part one. In part two, I'll be adding the mounting plate and motor mount. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.